very boring minutes later. Hey guys, it's KJ here and today let's take a look at macOS Moave. Well, the first thing after the update you know you will notice is the wallpaper. So in your lock screen, the wallpaper is not blurred. So you can see it clearly and the icons are a bit in bold and your avatar is a little bit bigger. The first and the most exciting feature of macOS Moave is dark mode. Now it not just darkens the dog and the status bar, it darkens everything. All Apple apps like Finder, Photos and even Xcode and also some third party supported apps. And to maintain that gorgeous darkness throughout your display, you can also adjust dynamic wallpaper. Which is basically like live wallpaper from Android. So all you have to do is just set it and it changes the wallpaper automatically depending on uh, what time it is. And the next feature is for the people who have a messy desktop. You guessed it, I'm talking about desktop stacks. Well, this feature allows you to sort your desktop through uh, file types, file names, and even the tags you assigned to those files. And you can also scroll through the small preview with your touchpad. Well, the next one isn't exactly features, it is more like improvements. First, let's talk about improvements done to Finder. Now, there's also an updated gallery view and more powerful shortcuts. Well, with the gallery view, you can view all the thumbnails of your images more easily. And the shortcuts are also powerful. Like now you can rotate your image directly from the Finder. You can create a PDF with selected photos also directly from the Finder. And even preview has been updated. So now you can draw or even sign a document with the touchpad right in preview. The next feature is about screenshot or should I say screen record. Since now you can do it without using QuickTime. Well this feature if you click command shift 5 it pops up from the bottom and basically what you can do is record your screen. Well record all of your screen or record a selected part of your screen. And you can also select a timer of the video, where to save the video of course and if you want to show your mouse pointer, if you want to show your clicks and etc. And well with macOS Mave you also get the redesigned app store. So things are so much more organized in categories and it's so much more cleaner and pleasing to look at. Even though it took Apple 10 years to actually redesign the app store, they've done a pretty good job at it. And well, let's not forget, macOS Mave is still in beta, so there are a lots of bugs and freezes I noticed throughout my experience with this new beta macOS. Well, the first bug I noticed was with my wallpaper. Because I wanted to turn on the dynamic wallpaper, so I went into the wallpaper settings and the whole settings just froze. So every time I tried to change my wallpaper or click on something, the settings just froze. So I had to force quit off my settings to actually continue using my Mac. And to fix that problem I had to actually reset my whole PC to actually get dynamic wallpaper working. And then another bug I noticed was with bootcamp assistant. When I was trying to create a bootcamp image and this is what happened. So I basically could not read anything since it was since the text and the background was in white. So I had to go to settings, turn it back to light to read it and then turn it back to dark because I love dark mode. Well, that was fixed in the second beta since now Bootcamp Assistant in dark mode still has white text but has a dark background. So which made it so much more easier to actually read the text. Okay guys, so that pretty much covers all the features and bugs of the first two public betas of macOS Mojave. And if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And also click here to see my other videos and click here to subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys later.